came here to see the first realization of a dream, a dream of uh, two persons. The first one is uh, Battista, that you see there written somewhere, and was, of course, the founder of, uh, of, uh, Bati of uh, Pininfarina. He always had a dream to put a badge from the side uh, to the front of the car and do his own vision, his own cars. Uh, and then uh, the dream of Anand Mahindra, that is actually our biggest shareholder, our shareholder. And uh, he had always the dream of uh, you know, producing a full electric uh, uh, hypercar with the Pininfarina brand. We understood that we wanted a car that is very pure, so that's why we called uh, our design philosophy Pura. Pura is linked not only to the, to the aesthetics that is very, very simple, we didn't want to make a car with uh, big wings or something like this. We wanted to integrate all the function as much as possible. But it's Pura, again, for the, for the full sustainability of the powertrains, you know. So it's, uh, everything is coming together in this world. Uh, exterior, because we've been working a lot on, uh, uh, f first, as I told you, making a pure car, but uh, giving a lot of chances to the customer to express uh, personalization, to give a little bit of uh, electrification uh, uh, visually as well with the full width uh, DRL that you see in the front uh, with the e-port that is completely illuminated in the back where you charge actually the car and then uh, inside uh, again uh, a lot of this technology with, uh, with all this uh, center driving uh, uh, center you know uh, driving center design uh, so we have two screens that are very close to the driver uh, where you can control almost everything you don't get distracted because the car is hugely powerful, you know, you know, you know 1,900 brake horsepower, 2,300 newton meters of torque, so you need to be really focused on what you're doing. And so that's why they are in the perfect ergonomic position. And then we've been working a lot on the interior to get uh, materials of high quality, nice perception of uh, touch and feel, so it's a mixture of all these uh, things. We are working on uh, getting a much stronger interpretation of, our, uh, of the philosophy of our brand, because uh, as you probably know, this is going to be only the first car that is going to be launched. We will have different products in the future. And uh, so we are defining not only the, the pure styling of the car, but really all the design strategy and all the, the brand strategy as well. So how the people will perceive us, uh, what, where do we want to be, where do we want to stand. So it's a lot of work on that, uh, on that direction in the, in the near future. And this is something that uh, we did it already with this, but it's going to be much more improved in the other cars. I have to say I was... Uh, very surprised by different reactions because uh, it's a car that uh, the normal car enthusiast uh, likes a lot because of its extreme proportion, uh, uh, exquisite details uh, and general you know, aggressiveness of the look. But on the other side, there's a lot of people that is uh, very related to, to technology. So, I don't know, clients inter interested in more in the electricity part. That right now I had only very small electric cars or something like this. And they want this car because it's the first time that an EV is, uh, you know, fulfilling their, their dream, you know, of an EV with, the, with, the, with hypercar looks. So a lot of different reactions, very positive. Our future product uh, will be a little bit more spread around. Uh, there's going to be a little bit more. We don't want to go lower than a, center, than a certain level because we want to pay respect uh, to our brand. And uh, all our philosophy that we are putting together is really related to this. In Europe, uh, it's my favorite motor show, definitely, because it's uh, for the presence of this kind of uh, brands that are very particular, very niche, uh, you know, very strong, they show beautiful cars. And then it's a very compact show, so you can, in, in one day you can really see it, go around and, uh, and enjoy it, while some other ones are very tiring. So for me it's the perfect place in Europe, definitely. We were surprised actually for the, for the number of people that uh, put down some reservations uh, in advance, because, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a leap of faith for everybody, but it's, uh, we were surprised. A lot of people actually, a lot of the cars are already sold.